can get with this, cause this is where it's at. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, so you can get with that. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. Man, we are here to do another reaction to, I want to make sure I get this right, the outfield, your love. Man, as always, I can't do that without the crew. Hollywood DA, what's going on, brother? Not much, man. Ready to get into this? Uh, Honestly, well, I say it's all the time, y'all. People tired of hearing me. I don't know who the fuck the outfield is, yo. <laughs> me either. Is this about baseball? Is this, what are we talking here, yo? <laughs> but, yeah, I, I'm good out there in right field, not doing nothing. But uh, we'll see what the outfield do, what, what they're about, man. That's all. Just, I, feel all like, right. I really have nothing because I really know nothing. Like some of these groups, I can be like, oh, I recognize the name or this. Mm -hmm. have, Same here, man. Big nothing. blind spot for me. Yeah, Major nothing. blind spot. But, hey. Phenom 202, what say you? Phenom 202, DDA representative. Um, I always say, like, I, I don't know who the outfield is, but I always say I've never heard a song until I hear it. I'm like, oh, I heard a song. Yeah, before. So I, I like putting the, the group and the song together. Yeah. So, uh, but this is the biggest song. It got to number six in the Billboard. So this is one of uh, oh. the their most popular songs. So top right. 10 hits. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Stop okay. 10. All right. So, so we let's. Might be there. We might be there. Eight. 86 is when it came out. So, mm, 86. Okay. Um, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it, man. The outfield, your love. Are you guys ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man. In three, two, one, go. So interesting to see what this is about. Hair is so crazy. That it is. The 80s haircuts never come back. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody walk around like mullets and big hair. Like Kenny, Kenny Powers, right? Yeah, for real. That's exactly what they look like. <laughs> Kenny Powers, As soon as I heard that part, it's crazy how that one line changed the whole game. Now, I don't know
Okay. Wow. Um, this is one of those songs where I've never heard the whole song. I just know that one spot. Yes. That's was, all I knew. I didn't know anything up until that moment where they said that little part, I don't want to yeah. lose your love tonight. And yeah. I was like, oh, I've heard that before, but I've never heard the whole song. So I finally listened to the whole song. Um, it's a good song. Very uh, catchy hook. Um, mm-hmm. It's definitely 80s vibe. I mean, yeah, clearly all, it is. All the way. Yeah. All it's the some way. 80s vibe yeah. all the way. Uh, but look, I want to stop off that. Um, Phenom 202, what are your thoughts, man? Yo, I think you could even kind of interchange this with like a Rick Springfield or something. That's when I first heard it. Like, we did Jesse's Girl. Check out the channel. We did Jesse's Girl. Mm, yeah, yeah. It had that kind of feel to it, which is not a bad thing because I, I love that song. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This song was a really good song, but what kind of threw me off, yo, when it was walking in the beginning, yo, so it was a blind dude. Like, he had his hand on his shoulder. He was walking through. Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. Go through the video. Bam on the keyboards going like this. I'm like, so I started Googling. Yo, he was really blind, yo. His name was Reg Webb. Right. Really? He was a real, really blind keyboardist, yo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, That's yo, what's shout up. Shout out to I, him, yo. I, I didn't know that was really true. I was like, I hope they're not just playing that up in the video, but he's really blind. Okay. <laughs> no, nah, he was he was blind since he was 13 months old. So oh, oh wow. Wow. That's crazy. Ali, man, what are your thoughts on this? Oh, uh, I mean the song fire, yo. But I'm with you. It's funny because like it's only that one little snippet. I don't know how I know the snippet. Honestly, I'm still trying to wrap my brain on how I know that snippet, but like soon as yeah. it dropped up, like I was like, Oh shit, I do know like you know what I mean? Like it yeah, so yeah. I'm sure I heard the song as youth and, and and memories just flooded back. But uh, mm-hmm. no, nah, the song was good, man. It was definitely fire. And guess what? They are another English band. All the uh, <laughs> motherfucking, the, all the good music come out of motherfucking England, you know, back in the day, mm. you know, it, it feels like it's It seems that way. Yeah. I'm like, yo, it really does. England and Australia, yo. Like, yep. <laughs> they just come to, uh, come to the States, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because then the week as soon as they make some money, boom, head on back. You know, it's like. (laughs) It does seem that way, man. I mean, it seemed like some of the best songs we're getting is from these English bands or the Australian bands. I mean, they definitely, they they got a nice sound to them, man. They really do, man. I mean, I I really enjoy what I'm hearing here. And I never heard this, the the outfit. I'm really curious how they even came up with that name. Yeah, but yeah. hey, you know, to each his own. Um, but great song though, great song. You about to say something, Phoenix? No, I mean, I actually like that song a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yo? It's a good song. I tried to do my googles to see if it's, it was in anything famous. I mean, the only thing famous that I could see that it was in, it was in the Goldbergs, which is one of my favorite TV shows. You know I love saying? that show. Like it just like that period piece of, of a TV show just shows my childhood, everything I was into. Love the Goldbergs, yes, yes. Uh, And to kind of piggyback what Ali said, I mean, the 80s, you know, they had the new wave. Yeah, yeah, they had that nice sound. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, shout out to them, yo. I can see why this is, uh, the song got to top 10 on the billboard. It's like with every English band, yo, it's crazy because they get the stamp of approval from where they're from, European countries around the world, but it takes forever for us to get, get it here. And, and appreciate it here. Know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yo, shout yeah. out to the outfield, yo. Yes. Yeah, yeah, man. Sing any other songs? We'll have to go check and see. Are yeah, man. Please, y'all, y'all, not y'all, not motherfuckers. But I was saying, motherfucking, uh, y'all, let us know, man. That's Corey mm-hmm. always says, yo. If there's any <laughs> other songs from the outfield that you want to <laughs> see us react to, let us know. Put it in the comments. <laughs> there you go, brother. I love that. Go ahead, uh, man. Send us off. Corey can't say no. He's like, 
<laughs> nah, man, I that's that was good, man. That was real good. Um, but hey, yeah, Ali's already said it. So other than that, man, I'm Corey Roy. That's Hollywood DA Phenom Two Two. Oh, but please don't forget yeah. to like the video and subscribe to the channel. That's so, very important, man. We are on our way to 50k and more. Yes. Thank you guys for joining us on this journey and let us know some more songs from the outfield. Corey Roy, Hollywood DA Phenom Two Two. Peace. I love it. You <laughs> that was a nice closeout, man. Just go ahead and do that. <laughs> I guess I've said it so much, you like it's ingrained in your membrane now. <laughs> <laughs> I think you get with this, cause this is where it's at. You can get with this, or you can get with that.